Ladies and gentlemen, Side Strafe back with naval action. And, well, surprise is on our side, but uh, <laughs> I really don't know if it's going to matter because welcome to Trafalgar. This is a 40 player matchup. Trafalgar is a mode that requires a minimum of 20 ships, but we've managed to get 40 in here. Oh my goodness, the largest match I've ever participated in for naval action. This is just going to be a bag of crazy. So, yeah, there's the enemy. And uh, I fear for my life because I'm on this side of <laughs> the line. So, hopefully I can kind of <laughs> get behind one of these meat shields. Uh, the minimum ship size, uh, surprise and up, you can't bring in anything else. So, I'm just going to try to squeeze into here and then maybe pass this... Santissima. I don't want to get in anybody's way. Of course. Got some chain shot loaded up, but I don't think I've got range yet. Anyway, so. There we go. I feel a little safer. Look at all these ships. This is just insane right here. Just, it's gorgeous too, just seeing all these sails. But, um, the last time I did this mode, I lost. Uh, hopefully, we can get a win. Let's see how far these guys are. Oh, yeah, I still don't, I don't really have much gun elevation right now. So, we'll have to wait a little bit close. Uh, you definitely don't want to get tunnel vision in this kind of matchup. Because there's plenty of things to hit. And sometimes it's just about waiting for the right moment. Obviously, they're going to be targeting the biggest ships first. So, I might be able to go unnoticed for a little bit. You know, maybe I almost want to... No, I don't. I was thinking about falling back and letting these guys pass me, but... I think the issue with that is then you get stuck back there. And potentially the enemy curves around you. But look at this. Things are getting a little too close for comfort. Uh, Santissima is crossing us. And it makes me worry, so... I think I'm going to focus on sailing for now because, wow, guys. I, you know, I'm almost wondering if people are paying attention <laughs> to where they're going sometimes. Because this is just crazy close. I mean, we can talk to our buddies on the other ship from here. Definitely getting messy. So just trying to pay a little bit of attention. I mean, you can almost just blind fire and hit something at this point. But I don't know if I have the range for that. I wonder if this game's going to lag. Yeah, it's just dropping short. Alright, we're out of that cluster. Santissima guns. And you know what I'm worried about? It's actually those. These guys. I think those are the smart guys right there. They they have a plan. I can tell you that right now. But. You know, there's only so much you can do on your own in this type of game. 
So I'm just waiting for opportunities right now. That's all you can do is you gotta be patient. Uh, this game will go on for some time. I'm sure. They usually do. How long I'll be in the game, that's the question. Alright, yeah, these, these ships are getting pretty close. Looks like we're still short of that one. Maximum elevation right here. Still short of that guy. This guy's a little closer. We might be able to hit him. Actually, just hit his uh, hull. Yeah, we're hitting his hull, but with chain, that's not going to do anything. Even with ball, even if we had ball ammo, we wouldn't be doing anything at this range against that behemoth. So I need to be in a spot where I can hit that sail. Let's see. Oops, a little too close. That may be. Nope. Short. Scratching his paint. See, those guys are going to have us from this side, and then these guys closing in from R6. That's, that's the problem that I see. Switching to gunnery mode. Uh, this ship is going to provide us with 9-pounder uh, long cannons on one deck, and then 12-pounder longs on the other, and then I've got some carronades on the front and rear. Or the bow and stern. Uh, watch out for this guy behind me. I'm afraid to be in gunnery mode here. Or perspective because I don't want to run into anything. Can't really tell where that went. Too high? Too low. I think those cut some of his sails. We can't really see his durability from here. Gosh, look at all this. This just looks insane. I mean, this is one of the craziest looking things I've ever seen in, in my gaming history. <laughs> I mean, it's a sight to behold. It is indeed a sight to behold. I'm going to maintain chain shot until... We get in to real fighting distance. But, you know, as you can see here, we could hit with ball, but I think we'd just be scratching them. Uh, at least those big ships. I mean, we could target other ships. We could target other uh, surprises or something, but still, even at this range, it's, it's not easy to do damage. But every little bit might count. I'm just thinking that I'm better off uh, supporting with chain and working on uh, the sails for the, the bigger ships on our side. Uh, let's see. Well, this guy's wanting to shoot, so we got to be careful. Let him pass me up a little bit more. Some new targets here. Fritz. Mm, not exactly. I think I cut a little bit of his 
sales, but not much. He was down a percentage. Right, we're crossing the wind here now. Uh, I'm going to switch up to ball and hope for the best. about these guys behind us. We've got a couple of our ships back there who may have not connected or DC'd if they're just sitting back there. I don't know. So free damage, I guess. Alright, so this is going to get tricky. <laughs> these guys are right next to us. Oh boy. I don't want to... I want to... I either need to pass this guy on my right or, or get onto his other side, but... Ah, this is such a bad situation. Holy crap. I just can't get... Oh! I may have just... Alright, full sails. Because we're way too close to these guys. Some good hits on him. But man... You gotta be really careful considering what's next to us if he decides to get <laughs> trigger happy on me. That's gonna hurt. Oh man, that's not what you wanna see next to you, especially considering that we're lined up here. I don't wanna show him my stern either, but I need to get out of here because our, our ships are flipping around. Just gonna pass this guy. Don't worry, buddy. Okay. Alright, so we're safe from fire for now, but I've also lost some good shooting opportunities. Let's see. Oh, this guy's coming in. Alright, watch out for this guy. Oh, snap, crackle, pop. I'm telling you that nobody is looking where they're going today. Oh, wow, that was close. Sheesh. This is the kind of game where you almost have to pay attention for everybody else. It's like when you're driving on the road. You have to be a defensive driver, in this case a defensive sailor, because nobody's watching where they're going. And I'm not saying that that was that guy's fault, because you know, I'm... But, I mean, he's kind of getting tangled up in our turn here, and... Most people actually spend way too much time in this perspective, and, and it causes a lot of ramming damage. Waterline almost, but see, the problem is now. It's we're dealing with. These guys, and I don't want to deal with these guys by myself. Because what do you think they're going to shoot at? They're going to shoot at the only thing that's over here. So we need to get the fracked out. This gun doesn't have much... This is max elevation. Where did that go even, actually? I couldn't really tell. But, all right, well. 
let's bail on that situation. Uh, we've got this gentleman here that we can put some rounds in. He's actually almost dead, so... Might as well get a piece of the pie. He's gone. Oh, crap. Goodness gracious. And then there's sunny day here. Full sails, full sails. And he's almost done. I think he's, no, he's, he's sunk. He's out. Oh man, some close calls here. Friendly's on this side. I'll be honest, I'm not focusing a lot on my manual sailing right now. Um, mostly because I'm just trying to <laughs> focus on not ramming a friendly ship. It's a whole different game today. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, this gentleman here. on me now. Oh, he's prepping a broadside for me. Alright. Um, in this situation... Oh, crap. Well, I don't know if he's already used it or not. pounders. I don't want to get raked here. Oh crap. Yeah, somebody's typing at me, but I'm trying not to uh, hit any of this. gentleman right next to us. I'm going to switch to uh, some... Double shot after this, I think. Left ammo, double! Load! Don't crash into your friends. Hopefully he's not going to load up a broadside on me. shooting me. Oh, you know what? I think I'm taking friendly fire from Pharaoh or somebody because yeah, I'm not sure what happened there. Alright. I have a plan. First. A little bit of that and that and that missed. Sadly. He moved out of the direction I wanted. I was going to try to rake, but it didn't work out for me. And then we've got this guy who's going to cross me at the wrong t Oh, no, buddy, don't do it. No, I want my shot. I might be able to get the shot still. Hold on, here we go. Couple winning. Alright, that's fine. 
I had that was that was all I could get before this guy crosses me anyway, so. He lost his mast. I can range this guy from here. Please, I don't know. Too high. And maybe too low. I only have ball on this other side, but. Oh, this guy's dead. But I think I can still do damage. And damage unlocks the ships. Unless it doesn't count if they've taken that much damage. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Okay, okay. What do we got going on here? I see a lot of green. So I feel good. Astral Eclipse looks like he could use some damage. But I have a feeling he's not going to last very long. I was worried about that flank that they were doing, but perhaps it hasn't worked out so far for them. All right, I've got this. Too short. I'm never good at firing the front cannons, especially if it's carronade. Alright, we're probably going to broadside each other here. But... He's taking a beating as well. And I'm going to battle sail it because I want to make sure that I don't mess up. There we go. And, uh... This is a little bit of a taunt right there. And this gentleman. I think that went in. What else we got here? Some distance targets that we could shoot at. This is so cool. This is really cool, I, I must admit. I don't have any more elevation here unless I go in the battle sails maybe. But we've got this guy to worry about. I think right I'm going to load double. To help with this gentleman. We just got to make sure to not get in the way though. He's trying to... Uh, Get back around, I think. Oh, you know what? He might present us with a raking opportunity here. You see how he's turning? That's a nice big target for us if we can get to him in time.
Maybe not, though. It depends. We'll see. Get into sailing mode just so we can work on maneuverability right now since we're loaded up. But I think this guy has the same idea as I do in front of me. So it's going to make this difficult. Wow, he's right behind him. He just fell in the line. What's the plan, boss? What's the plan? There's the broadside. There it goes. Get ready. Get ready. Is he going to answer? Because I don't really want to be on this side if he hasn't answered yet. I'm trying to stay out of his way. Because we don't want him on us. Dang, these cannons at the front. I just cannot aim them. They're so awkward to aim. He hasn't answered yet, which has got me worried. There he, no, there he goes. There he goes. Problem is the other side. Hold on. We don't want to go past him. And we don't want to get boarded by him either, so... Gotta be really careful. And, 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 and... That'll thin out his ranks a little bit. Oh no, why are you next to me? The only problem with uh, Trafalgar is that you will get a little bit of player greed, I think, sometimes. You know, everybody wants their own piece of the action, which is understandable. People want the damage, but they'll get in the way of your master plan to, to get it sometimes. So You just have to, again, just be prepared. Defensive sailing. Make sure that you don't run into anybody. If you see that somebody's lining up to take a shot, don't get in the way of it. another rake if I can actually get behind this guy in time, but you can see everybody's just closing in on this target. He's got a lot of armor. He's of course got repair kits, so... not what I wanted, but take what you can get. I'll go back to thinking about what's around us. Oh, crap. There's a lot of red over there. Get away from it. See that? You, you fall into that, and you're done. They will shoot at whatever <laughs> gets in their way. I still have this front ammo. And another rake. Check left. Not 
Not sure what hit me there. Perhaps them. See? Alright. Santissima. You fired your shot, right? Alright. The Bologna. Could be lining up here, so we gotta be very careful. I'm gonna try to get past the Santissima. He might light me up if we're not careful. But I also want to get away from the red. Leak plug back in the gunnery. Ooh, he's taking fire, but it's really close. I think passing through my sails. I'm about to do another shot here. I think I, I scratched the paint a little bit on that, or the varnish. I don't know. <laughs> it really wasn't a whole lot, but... Okay. I'm starting to see the green disappear from our team. Oh, boy. Alright, where are you at? Am I in anybody's way? this guy's plan. Ow. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. This could be bad. Eighteens, eighteens. Hide the stern. Shoot, and then there's these guys in front of us. All right. I'm going to get hit here. There's no way I'm not going to get hit by something. This guy, man. Full health, too. in the water line, I think. Shoot! <laughs> Man. Oh, so crazy. Hi, guys. Just saying hello. How you doing? Inspecting the flag. Okay. Oh, man. The struggle is real. I'm gonna attack against the wind here. Mostly, I'm trying not to get into the enemy team's formation. So I'm doing whatever it takes to just stay alive and get hits where I can. Alright. We're still in this fight. I don't know for how long, though. It's just hard to dent these guys. You know, front ammo probably just needs to be double shot. And double on the bow and stern. Well, all we can do is try to go down fighting. Oh, 
shots in. Uh, who can I get next to? Is there anybody that we can kill? I haven't even used a kit yet, but it's not going to matter. I can't see this guy's health. I'm trying to see it, but I can't because the other guy's in the way. All right, well. This is the part where you check damage and see if you can finish somebody off. some shots here but see again every time I think I might have a shot I, I then have to worry about my sailing and, and not hit a friendly because this guy's coming into me from the left so it's really difficult switching to gunnery all right here's my plan planning for a rake on this guy over here after we pass the surprise. Downside to this, potentially though, is that it throws me too close to their side of things. And the shot from here is not going to be very accurate. Good hits, but, you know, against that ship, doesn't really matter. Sales are 92%. Oh, here we go. Yep, there's the first kit going to be used right there. of leaks, survival mode, come back around. That's that guy's deal over there. Huh? Yeah, the surprise just doesn't really stand a chance. Uh, on its own against these ships, of course. You know, I don't really expect it to, but... Alright, we're here. Well... I think if I'm going to go anywhere, it's going to be where I have more friendlies. Uh, we've got double shots, so our range isn't fantastic against these targets. Man, I keep looking at all these other ships, and I'm like, okay, who's almost dead? And none of them. <laughs> I'm going to take a look at the scoreboard here. So we can see they've got a few more casualties than we do, but it is fairly close. Uh, so we want to stay on our toes because you never know. It just takes a really good broadside from some large ship to uh, put an end to your day. What can we do to stay in this fight? Steel Fury, how you doing, buddy? Seventeen minutes remain in this battle. Uh, 
I just don't have these shots. This is too far for double. Yeah. I could switch back to ball, I guess. But, you know, again, I feel like it barely dents those monsters. This guy, gosh, everyone I look at is just has so much health. Well, you know what I could do? I could go into chain. But... I think I'm just going to throw some ball on this side so I can get some range shots in. It's better than doing nothing. We're still with our... remaining ships. That guy's going down. Fell of red. Alright, that's ours. And two of theirs. If you can't see the name tags, check the flags. I'm going to try to put some more hurt on this guy since he's the focal point. Good hits, but it doesn't really matter too much. I wasn't paying too much attention to his durability, but I don't know if it managed to do much. Ball against those things, this range, eh. I'm always sitting here thinking, yeah, I should have just switched the chain and support that way, you know. But he's, he's done. He's lost a whole whole uh, side there. Another salvo of ball that I'm going to use and I'm going to go back to double. Is he done? No, not yet. Back to double. I think he's finished now. Okay. Now this point, as much as... I want to cut that direction. I'm not going to. We want to stick with the fleet. And... Do what we can here. This might be a draw because there's only 12 minutes remaining. But honestly, it's been a pretty good fight. At least I feel like it has. I don't know. You be the judge. Alright, we're about to load up. Double. But. Ah, too short. A little higher. It's a hit. On the way. Not that you can see most of that. That guy's full. At least it's not stormy weather. I wonder if there's been a, a stormy weather Trafalgar. That would just be insanity. Pure chaos. That would be the developers laughing at us. <laughs> I mean, it would be cool to see, but... 
fighting and that kind of stuff is just a pain. Let's deal with that guy. Alright, so here's about to be an engagement. And he'll probably use his broadside on the... Santissima. And after he does that, we'll use ours. Gosh, look at the insanity. It's like a, a wood chipper. Going for another one, perhaps. Where is everybody? Check your targets. Still have two kits remaining. Uh, but you see the problem. If I go that way, I'm going to get stuck against red. And I don't want to do that. So we're not going to do that. But nine minutes remaining. See that would have been that would have been bad going that direction. So that's why we turned around. But I almost don't like the way they're looking over here. I think they're still focusing on the big ship, so it's not really a problem. going to be the plan here? What's going to be the plan? Well, we're kind of against the wind now. I think our fleet's going this way, so instead of tacking, I think I'm just going to try to Downside is we're out of effective range. I'm trying to think about what's going on here before really making my move. think let's see that guy will probably they're probably going to unload on Manu yep and I'll be able to unload a broadside here potentially so you see what he's going to do oh no 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 all right, well, we got to get on this side of him if we can. Okay, good. For now, at least. He, he's used up his broadside. 
And I've got a couple of 18-pounders uh, for him, hopefully, if I can actually hit. Okay. Okay. Problem is, we're in his uh, line of fire. I'm gonna have another broadside loaded up. I don't really have a great shot. What's this guy's deal? Five minutes remaining. It's not a great shot from here. But just might as well go ahead and do it. Couple of hits, couple of misses. Uh, raking opportunity here. If I didn't use that side, I might be able to reload in time by the time I get to him. And I could flip it. I also have this, just two 18 pounders. Which again, I'm unable to. I gotta really raise the elevation on those. Alright, we're loading up. Oh, that's not what I want. Problem is... He's preparing this broadside for me. So, knowing that, instead of trying to attempt my raking shot, I need to stay away from him. And not give him that shot. As much as I want to shoot at him, I gotta do the right thing. But, I'm still gonna take a hit from this guy. No matter what. So, sadly, we're caught against the wind here, too. This is going to work. He might be dead, though, soon. Okay, crap. I need to fix this problem fast. He's done. Three minutes. French. And... Switch to sailing mode. Catch up to this guy as quickly as possible. This has been nuts, ladies and gentlemen. Forgive me if I've uh, been at a loss for words for the duration. What le what else? Th okay, is that? Okay, that's ours. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch this guy. Get that wind to fill all the sails.
I'm gonna go ahead and use my repair because why not? Time's running out, minute 28. Crap, we lost that guy. The side that's lacking armor is... One minute. And that's it. Oh, he, he went down. Okay, so it went down before the time. I didn't get my final shot. No. <laughs> we won. Oh my goodness, we won Trafalgar. And I was alive at the end. Oh my goodness, I'm so stoked. Oh man, holy crap. Good game, everybody. Wow, I got 10,245 damage. I wonder how I did in comparison to other people, though. Obviously, I'm not going to compare it to these big ships of the line here, but... Holy crap. I mean, we did better than some of these big ships. Um, which, for me, is a personal victory. Oh, man, 10k. Ooh, we did good out of our surprise ships. And nice, that was crazy. Holy crap. Good job, everybody. That was that was down to the wire. I mean, it wasn't a complete uh, you know, annihilation. Uh felt like a really balanced match. Holy smokes. A day which will live in infamy. I think now we just have to hope that the open world stuff is as good as this. Um this is of course just the beginning, so you know, I don't want to speculate. I've heard some things about the combat being instanced and uh, some teleportation escort mechanics, um, which I'm not a huge fan of, but again, they're just ideas and it's really too early to tell. We are supposed to get some sort of uh, travel testing this year, uh, so I am definitely looking forward to that. Hopefully the game will shape up, but as I may have mentioned before, even if that doesn't, you still have a really good kind of uh, deathmatch component here that's still a lot of fun. Um, but again, here's hoping that the open world adds to this fantastic combat that they've already got going on. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, really hope you enjoyed today's look at naval action. I will definitely see you on the next one.